Hello everybody. This video will be about B2 phrases and collocations. I know that there are a million, so in this video I'll be touching on 12 or so, and then eventually I'll make more videos to cover more. The first one is accident. To do something by accident, hacer algo accidentalmente, hacer algo sin querer. I called you last night at 4 a.m. by accident. Ayer te llamé a las 4 de la mañana sin querer. Accidentalmente. Of course, I had an accident two weeks ago. Hace dos semanas tuve un accidente. Thomas was involved in an accident three weeks ago. So remember, to do something by accident, to have an accident and to be involved in an accident. The next one is ahead. Ahead has a bunch of uses. One of them is delante o adelante. No podía ver delante porque había un hombre muy grande tapándome la vista. I couldn't see ahead because there was a big guy in front of me. Another use of ahead is antes de. Thank goodness we finished the project ahead of the deadline. Gracias a Dios terminamos el proyecto antes de la fecha de entrega. Ahead of somebody, also antes que. He arrived at the restaurant ahead of me. Él llegó al restaurante antes que yo. Ahead is also próximas o futuras. I look forward to working with you in the weeks ahead. Tengo muchas ganas de trabajar contigo en las futuras semanas. Okay, these are enough for ahead. The next one is head. Not ahead, head. Off the top of my head. Off the top of my head means a voce pronto, así de primeras. A voce pronto, no me acuerdo de su nombre, pero era una chica muy alta. Off the top of my head, I can't remember her name, but she was a tall girl. Off the top of my head, I don't remember how many people came to my party, but I can tell you more than 40. Así a voce pronto, no te puedo decir cuánta gente vino a mi fiesta, pero más de 40. Head for is dirigirse a. If you're looking for the party, head towards the noise. Si estás buscando la fiesta, dirígete al ruido. Mis amigos se dirigen a las colinas. My friends are heading for the hills. And head over heels for somebody is estar locamente enamorado o enamorarse perdidamente de alguien. She fell head over heels for Charles. Se enamoró perdidamente de Charles. I am falling head over heels for you. Me estoy enamorando perdidamente de ti. So remember, off the top of my head, recordar algo a bote pronto, head for a place, dirigirse a un lado, they're heading for the hills, and to fall head over heels for somebody, enamorarse perdidamente de alguien. The next one is holiday. To go or to be on holiday is irse de vacaciones o estar de vacaciones. I went on holiday to Alicante. Me fui a Alicante de vacaciones. To have or to take a holiday is tomarse unas vacaciones. I took a well-deserved holiday. Me tomé unas merecidas vacaciones. Now remember that in America you usually say vacation, not holiday. A bank holiday is un día festivo. So remember, to go or to be on holiday, irse de vacaciones o estar de vacaciones, to take a holiday is tomarse unas vacaciones and bank holiday is un día festivo. The next one is trip. You go on a business trip, school trip, business trip, viaje de negocios, school trip, viaje con la escuela. You go on a trip or you take a trip. Go on a trip, hacer un viaje. I'm going to go on a trip to Sydney. Me voy a ir de viaje a Sydney. You can also take a trip. To take a trip is hacer un viaje a alguna parte. And in America, sometimes they say to make a trip cuando, for example, this morning I made 20 trips to the supermarket. Esta mañana he ido 20 veces al supermercado. To make a trip. Hacer un viaje, ir al supermercado. But irse de viaje is to take a trip. And the last one is way. The first one with way is to lose your way. To lose your way is perderte. It's very easy to lose your way in these streets. Es muy fácil perderse en estas callejuelas, en estas calles. To make your way is abrirse camino. Despite the hardships, he was able to make his way in the music industry. A pesar de las dificultades, pudo abrirse camino en la industria de la música. 
The park was packed, but we were able to make our way home. El parque estaba llenísimo, pero pudimos abrirnos camino, pudimos llegar a casa. In the way, on the way. To be in the way es cuando algo está estorbando, algo está en el camino. Uh, you're in the way, so I can't watch TV. Me estás entorpeciendo y no puedo ver la televisión. I'm on my way. Voy de camino. Ya estoy saliendo. To go all the way, de una manera coloquial, significa hacerlo en el sexo. He wanted to go all the way, but she didn't want to. Él quería hacerlo, pero ella no quería. So remember, to lose your way, perderte. To make your way, abrirte camino o ir a alguna parte. In the way, estar en el camino. On the way, estar saliendo o ir en camino. And to go all the way, llegar hasta el final. And as I told you at the very beginning, these are some B2 phrases and collocations. There are millions. So it's going to take me a while to make more videos, but I'll be back. I hope you find this helpful. Bye.